my family has a very special story. Um, in January of 2010, my wife gave birth to our twin sons, uh, Asa and Luke, and they were born four months early. Um, they were born at one pound, nine ounces. Um, unfortunately, 16 days later, Asa, our oldest son, passed away. And uh, it was very difficult, but it was the support of the Sunday school class. It was the support of um, the church family just reaching out to us and, and providing meals and, and supporting us in prayer. It was huge. It was prayer. We have such a great congregation, a great family here, and I think that's part of the, the hospitality about bringing in the community. Um, it's not just the, you know, the couple hundred people that go to church here, it's a whole community. One day I was up here just dropping something off and I think I stopped in Dee's office and about, you know, you know with Dee it's like two hours later, you know, he was still talking to me about a lot of different things, which is very, very personal and helpful for me. It's that kind of relationship, and it's you know it's it's the, all the pastors here. You know, I dropped into many of their offices as I'm walking through. It could be I'm just stopping in. They just like, well, come on in. And just you know, they want to they want to know you um, just as much as you want to know them. It's just a very caring clergy we have here. The ministers care about the people in this church. Great things are happening here. I realize the importance that the church plays in the community, and. I hope and pray that with the work that we're doing here, that we're able to reach even more people. I think that there is a real opportunity for us to, to be an impact for change. Um, we have beautiful sanctuary under construction. It's, it's an exciting time, and the future, I think, is, is pretty endless. It's our church, and so it's, you know, we've got we to gotta be able to support it. We gotta be, it's got to be able to function. It's got to be able to do some some um, specific things every day. That's part of our, that's, that is part of my responsibility because it's, it's my church. It's my, you know, my church family, just like I do with my home. This is, this is another one of my homes, so to speak. And so it's important that I view it that way. Judy and I believe that when you're giving to the church to keep the lights on and to keep people employed and all those sort of things, that we're really giving back what God has blessed us with. So therefore, when I give, to me, it's more about relationships than it is about resources. Um, it's about my relationship with God. It's about my relationship with people in this church family and in this community, friends and neighbors, um, people I don't know in this community. I now understand how tithing manifests itself into the physical form. It's the ministers that show up at the hospital or at your home or do your services. It is the classes that will help enrich and grow you as an individual. Uh, it is in the Wednesday night dinners where you get the chance to see the families. It's in the support groups that the church hosts for parents like myself who have lost a child. Um, it is in the Sunday school classes that we get to have every single week, in fact, in this very room that we're filming. And one of the things that I realize is that we're all going to have those moments of dark hours, but these people and these ministries are going to be the groups that help get you out of that. And for anybody who's watching today's video, um, I hope that they'll take a sense of knowing that it's not just a, a check that they write and it goes to a group that they'll never meet. Uh, often, it's a check that they write that will go to the neighbor that it's helped supporting it's going to go to the friend who's having a, a tough time. And one day, it may very well be them that it's taken care of in the future.